Okay, welcome to a short tutorial on how the Epstein Analyzer software works. Um, this is the home screen you're going to see as soon as you install your version uh, of the 10-day trial or if you've gone through and purchased a serial number. Uh, as this screen comes up, I'm going to go through some of, the, some of the ways to access players in your database as well as bringing video in from an external source, whether it be uh, a live firewire connection camera or a mini DV camera or if you have a hard drive camera you can also bring swings in so uh, as far as looking at swings and finding them in your database you're gonna click the database tab here at the bottom and as that comes up it's gonna bring up your clips page and you can see there's a drop down menu here and as you load players in to your database it'll store all of their personal information so you can keep their phone numbers, you can keep their emails on tap if you'd like. Uh, for instance, if we click, click on this player and then we go to a registration button, you can see it has name and you can fill out their address, city, phone number, so on and so forth, email address, so you can contact them. But as far as bringing up a clip so you can look at it, we'll take uh, one of our players here and you choose his or her name and you can see there are one of two clips loaded under this player's personal setting on your computer and we're going to uh, send this one clip to our clip panel so you'll see after you press that button it pops up down here in the bottom of your clip panel then you hit OK and you can see this player's image is now on the full screen you can also see all of the clips are time coded with the player's name as well um, as far as scrolling through you can use the scroll bar here to go through the swing in slow motion. You can also use the frame by frame button to go one frame at a time. Uh, I prefer to use the arrow keys. It's just a little bit simpler and it allows you to go frame by frame. Uh, some of the other functions you can use, your drawing tools here. Um, you can isolate parts of the swing you're going to try to work on. Maybe you're trying to explain to players. You can also draw text on the screen if you need to uh, you know write something for the player um, you can take a picture so let me get rid of these lines say you like this position and you would like to send it to the player you can click the capture button here and it's going to take a picture for you you can type in any name you'd like we'll type in this player's name you can click save and it's going to save in your database folders and you can email that image that still image to a player if you'd like or use it however you'd wish uh, some of the other functions you can use we have a mirror function if you have a left-handed player you're trying you want to use this swing as say a template template clip you can click the mirror function um, to relate to maybe the player you're working with you know at a current time let's see uh, okay, so let's turn him back around to be right-handed, and uh, I'll go through a couple other measurement tools that you have here. Uh, this one here I like to use uh, to measure the back knee angle here to see if a player is hinging well enough and getting their hips through. So all you need to do is hit this little button here, and you click three points, one, two, and three, and it'll give you... Uh, the degrees of this angle. You can see it's 103 degrees. Most professional players are under 110. So it's something you can use um, for your players. One of the other nice functions has to do with uh, syncing the screen. So we're going to use this option here, the side-by-side -side screens. Of course you could go top and bottom screens if you wanted to, but we're going to go side-by-side -side, and I'm going to bring a new player up so we can go through his swings. This would be more of a before and after look with players. So you can see we have two swings and we're going to send both of them to our clip panel down below. Click OK and you can see the lighting is a little darker on these swings. Um, for, for different settings on your video camera you're going to need different light settings. So if you don't want any blur through a swing, for instance we'll bring this swing up here on the right We'll put this one here on the left. Um, as we scroll through, you're going to see that hitting the arrow buttons, his bat is very clear. There's no blur between 
the frames of his swings. In order to get that, you're going to need to have a video camera that has an adjustable shutter speed. If it has an adjustable shutter speed, you're going to set that to, um, I believe when I'm indoors, I use 1 over 500. When I'm outdoors, I use 1 over 5,000. Um, the more light you have, the higher the shutter speed you can set. The less light you have, or artificial light, you'll only be able really to get to about 500. And that's what you're seeing on the right. So if you are getting video that's blurred, you'll need to go into your manual and find out how to adjust a, uh, the camera's shutter speed to you know, at least 1 over 500. So what I like to do is I like to do an impact sync. So I'm going to bring the, the swing on the right is um, a player after he's been through a series of lessons. And on the left was his first swing when he walked in the door. So I like to use these as comparison purposes to chart a player's progress. So what I do is I bring them both to you know, roughly the same part of the swing. When the bat head reaches the same part of the swing, then what I'll do is come over here to the sync screens. I'll activate that button. You can see we now have a big green box around the entire screen. Now, whenever I scroll, they're going to move at the exact same rate. Okay, so I can start from the beginning. I can do, I can press the slow motion function here, and it'll play both swings in slow motion to that impact sync. You can also go through and change your slow motion so it's faster or slower as you would do that in your tools setting here. Um, but I'm going to go through here and just go frame by frame with the arrows as it's a little easier. Sometimes you can use the wheel of your mouse if you're using a mouse with a wheel. And it isolates all the different parts of the swing. So for instance, uh, this player's problem, he's got way too much room here. He's, he's really uncocking his wrist here way too early and you can see a huge space between his bat head and his shoulder. You can see the player on the right brings that bat right down next to his shoulder, therefore enabling him to stay inside the ball more. So those are some of the different issues you can see um, when you're syncing the screen side by side. You can also check out his back foot. You can see he's squishing the bug more on the left. On the right he has a much more active back knee. That's how we got that good angle before. And again, we can measure those two angles. His good swing. Bring out the protractor. He's at 99.2 degrees. His first swing when he started. Let me redo that. is 130 degrees. So you can see we've made a lot of progress with this player. You can take it all different parts of the swing to see where he's deviating and where he needs to do. You can also pull up if you have access to big league swings, um, which, which you can get and you would need to get yourself. You can um, you know, use whoever you want as examples or players. So if we can bring this clip up this is Joe Maurer. Um, he's hitting left-handed. And let me bring another one of my players up. Sometimes they like to see themselves next to the big leaguers. Okay, and the problem is our player we're going to use here is right-handed. So what we'll do is we can obviously make our model right-handed to help us out by using the mirror function. You can also see that the player is much bigger in this screen. So in order to make and zero in on this player here on the left, you can hit this magnifying glass on the left. You pump it up and then this crosshair allows you to move the player around the screen so that he fits properly.